Hi, my name is Sean Mars, and I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I just want to talk about uh, resetting the SOLIDWORKS registry. So sometimes SOLIDWORKS can start acting kind of funky on you. Um, a lot of times this will happen uh, when after you have a computer crash or possibly a Windows update uh, can also add uh, confusion. Uh, whatever your need is, sometimes you need to reset the SOLIDWORKS registry. So the registry, just in general, on your PC is where Windows keeps a lot of low-level uh, information, libraries, embedded files, things like that, um, so that it can run the operating system. Uh, a lot of programs also use the registry for the similar purpose, and SOLIDWORKS is one of them. So some things that can go wrong, uh, one thing I've seen is you go to open up SOLIDWORKS and this splash screen just never goes away. Uh, this is where it's actually loading up that registry. So if it can't find it or if there's some kind of error, then it won't be able to actually start SOLIDWORKS. Uh, for SOLIDWORKS, the registry is mostly setting just any of your um, settings. So any of your user interface settings or anything you might change up here in your system options or customizing toolbars. So other things that you might see go wrong is um, just little uh, user interface icons might be uh, messed up or missing. Uh, you could also have um, like toolbars that are gone, so any toolbars that you might be using might not be showing up. So any of these, in any of these cases, you might want to do a registry reset. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, I just want to mention one thing. You do want to be somewhat careful when you're working in the Windows registry because if you delete the wrong sub key or make the edit to the wrong thing, then you could uh, possibly corrupt your operating system. So that's no good. But what we're going to be doing today is very easy and it's safe. So what I'm going to be using is this utility called the reg uh, the registry editor. So to get to that, we're just going to go to our start menu right down here, and we're going to type in reg edit. And we'll see this red edit edit.exe show up. And this is the registry editor. So uh, at this point, we just have to find SOLIDWORKS, the SOLIDWORKS registry. So it should be under each key current user, assuming you're not networked or anything. And then down to software. And then down to SOLIDWORKS. OK. So the one we want here is the one that just says SOLIDWORKS. Ignore the one that has the year. And all we're going to do is just right click and rename this. So you can delete it, uh, but renaming it's going to be safer um, just because it'll keep that as a backup. So if you need to revert back to this registry, uh, maybe the reset didn't actually solve your problems, uh, you might want to still have this registry saved. So I just like to put in the date. It is the last day of 2015. So. There we go, and that's all you have to do. So essentially now SOLIDWORKS won't be able to find that registry, so when I go and open SOLIDWORKS, um, it's going to actually create a new registry. So this will leave me with all of the default settings. It'll be like the first time I ever opened up SOLIDWORKS, so I'll have to accept some licensing agreements and things like that. Um, at this point, if you do have a copy settings wizard file saved, this is a great time to load it. Um, I just want to note one thing is if you are having problems and you think the problem is with the registry, uh, don't save a copy settings wizard right then and then reset the registry and then load that copy settings wizard. Uh, just because the copy settings wizard is actually exporting a chunk out of your registry and if the problem is already in that chunk that it's exporting, you're just going to be pushing it back into your new registry. So uh, that is really everything I have to say here. Um, one more thing, actually, is if I go back to my registry editor here and I go and refresh it, then here is that new registry. So it did create another one, just call it SOLIDWORKS skin. Um, if you want to revert back to your old one here, all you have to do is go ahead and delete this new one. Make sure SOLIDWORKS is closed so all instances will have to be closed. And then just rename this one back down to SOLIDWORKS. Alrighty, so that is resetting the SOLIDWORKS registry. Uh, thank you very much for watching.